105.9 Rima Central Coast. Well, not actually drowning um, because we, we, we managed to have her say, well, she already is saved. So you're not drowning, and she's in the studio with us as well. So they didn't hear you. Also that. true. Yeah, yeah that, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Now, uh, Rick Broom's in the studio with us as well. That's a whole different story. We're not going to bring that up at the moment. You know, you, you never pick <laughs> on the boss, especially live on air when millions of folks are hearing. So, so, and then we've got a strange fellow in the back room staring behind you. There's a guy behind you. Watch out. So I'm not <laughs> sure if you know who that is. Uh, I'm not sure. You guys, do you guys know each other? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. So that's right. So there was a recent event that happened about, I don't know, a little while ago, nine months ago. Indeed. And yeah. And I think what, you, you went on your first date, was it? Well, we didn't go on our first date yeah. nine months ago. Oh, right. That would have been weird, you know, get right. married within the week or something. Oh, so you got married nine months ago. Yeah. Well, we didn't know that. That's a whole new thing. Yeah. There. We didn't know about it. We just thought he was some guy <laughs> you were infatuated with. So, so you brought him home. You met dad. He passed the test. Pretty so, much. Yes, yeah. and give him the green light. And he's in with you this, this year. Thank you. Yeah, so you be gonna put him on in air? No, no, no. No, so yeah, maybe this, not. This is maybe all not. bait to see if he would take it, and he's not taking. <laughs> it. He's not going by. All right, <laughs> Asher in the studio. Well, thank you again for popping in. It's always nice to have you in the house. Oh, pleasure. Yes, okay. yes, yeah. So fill us in. Last year, we already know you met some fella at some milk bar, and you got, <laughs> you got married two days after that. We know that. Bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so, that's yeah, right. yeah. Kind of so, happened like that. Yeah, so, no. Yeah. It's been an awesome year. I think getting married was a highlight. Kind of meant that. I like, think getting married was the highlight. Well, I'm uncertain. <laughs> we'll change it to that. But yeah, no, it was so good. It was such a huge deal. Never thought I could get married at the age of, what was that, 20? Yeah, but it's awesome. I'm loving it. Excellent. He's a great guy. So you've had a sea change? I've had a... Sea change? Yeah, indeed. Yeah, so you're better yeah. to see you around the houses as much. Yeah. <laughs> just somewhere else. Yeah. So you got a sea change. Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. So 20, married now, and yeah. obviously you've got a job now because you have to, because you're unemployed for like how many years? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure you know, that you know. when you're a musician, you don't really have a real job anyway. So, so. you're still unemployed. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that. Uh, yeah. But look, yeah. hey, you got your act with you, and you know, you yeah. don't bust, though, do you? Because I've never seen you around uh, busking, or do you? A couple years ago, maybe like two years ago, I bust a lot down at Terrigal, like right. near the water. But I just haven't got down there recently. But I plan to. It's was fun. it fruitful? Don't worry, the tax man doesn't listen to us. Oh, it, was, it was very fruitful. <laughs> Surprisingly, it was great. I don't know why I haven't, you know, went back down there. But, but you got a great voice. People are going to stop and walk by and drop some things in there. You know? Yeah. If not money, maybe, maybe some trash, chicken bones, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, I've got but lots of foreign money, actually. You, really? You'd be surprised. You don't know if they mean to or they don't mean mean to but yeah you're counting it up and you're like oh i don't know where this is from what is this do you take it to the bank do you they uh, change it no i actually don't but i probably could you could I? Yeah. oh look at that or do you have to go to a currency exchange thing to do that I'm not sure I don't, I don't know i've never busted before <laughs> i've never you, sang you were before. waiting on me oh, for really? the great answer. yeah no so yeah no. you don't want to hear me sing seriously no no it's uh things happen i'd rather <laughs> hear ashes sing <laughs> yes yeah uh, yes yeah things happen you never want to see again <laughs> so but, but no wow okay so foreign change all right yeah. so you know so um let's 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 get deep here <laughs> what's the biggest day you ever had what's the biggest one what's the biggest payday you ever had oh okay so mm. i remember actually mm. for my music video that I made probably about a year or so ago. Yeah. I was trying to save up for the deposit within a couple days. And I, I think I bust three three times and made $800. Wow. So really? That's, yeah, that's my memory. And you're still not a member of Rima. Oh my <laughs> goodness. That was rude. Wow. wow. <laughs> Bring that membership form in here right now. Uh, so. Yeah, fair enough. Happy to. Happy to. So that was, the, that was the video for Drowning? Yeah, the video for Drowning, wow. yeah. In one day. Yeah, so... And you haven't gone back. Oh, no, that's what I mean. I have no... I think it was just getting, Joseph, get her getting out engaged, yes. you know, yes. planning you a, a wedding. You have to play it now, yes. That's right. As soon as yeah. you leave here, straight downtown. <laughs> Goodness, in one day. Yeah. It's pretty... Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty amazing. Uh, maybe I should try to learn how to sing. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, so okay, so let's enough of that. Let's let's hear some stuff. Anything new? You got something new there for us? Yeah, I can play something new. Yeah, something new. Yeah, you're you're still writing new? some stuff something since old, the album, blue. since yeah, the EP. So I've been I've been writing some songs recently. Um, been in the studio doing some demos for Good. Yeah. a hopeful, you know, new release, which would be great in the next couple of months. Yeah, because the album's what three years old now? Three. I think it's two, but two? it feels like three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Indeed, yeah. Oh, okay, so you, you're back in doing demos. Nice, nice. Yeah. You're you going to demo something here, or are we going to just... Uh, sure, we can do that. We yeah. can do that. 
It's, yeah. Let's see. Okay, Asha, take it away. Rick, don't join in. Uh-huh. Don't, don't. Turn no, my mic off, no, please, no. in case I start singing. He hums, and, <laughs> he hums and then he starts singing things. And even if it's a song he knows, hey. he sings different things. <laughs> I it's don't just, he just sings. So, all right. All right. Cool. Well, I'll play a song called Colors. It's, it's one of my most recent. What, what'd you call me? It's called Colors. Oh, Colors. The song was called Colors. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just check it. <laughs> Yellow is the color of my closet in summer My eyes heart-shaped and red Baby, it's a good time, just have a good time And green is the color of my morning adventure Bringing you along with me But nothing's ever good enough Wish it was good enough Cause do you feel with your head or your heart This confusion staring me right apart The way we used to fit together it was hard We were one and the same at the start And do you see I'm black and white or in color Where your head is hanging down makes me wonder If I keep you next to me I might discover that you can be happy just like me Well, purple is the color of the garden at your place Your mother has it looking like magic I never want to leave it here Can we stay here? And orange is the color that we're all trying to rhyme with Also the color of my sunset and baby, they're so beautiful, are they beautiful to you? Cause do you feel with your head or your heart? This confusion staring me right apart. Where we used to fit together, it was hard. We were one and the same at the start. And do you see I'm black and white or in color? Where your head? is hanging down makes me wonder if i keep you in my world you might discover you can be happy just like me oh just like me This confusion staring me right apart Where we used to fit together it was I We were one and the same at the start And do you see I'm black and white or in color Where your head is hanging down makes me wonder If I keep you next to me I might discover that you can be happy Just like me Just like me, oh. Live and local, Asha, there you go. So, it's not hard to see how you made 800 bucks in one day. <laughs> no. Not at all. It's not many jobs you can make 800 bucks in one day that are legal. <laughs> so, like, you know. Probably is because I didn't bank the money, but... <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, um... Tell us about the song. That was nice. Yes. yes. That song is one of the quickest songs I ever wrote. And I guess you guys know my dad, Kev. Mm -hmm. um, Kev. He's kind of... Kev. Um, Big Kev. Big Kev. Kev. He's actually really Large little. Dude. Oh, dude works at the fruit shop. That's him the fruit shop. Not fruit that shop? I know of. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but like I wrote that song kind of recently and thought, you know, it was a bit silly. I felt a bit tried. I don't know. I'm just pretty critical when it comes to things like that. But then I showed my dad and he's like, no, I love it. And I guess, I don't know. I think it's just, you know, there's lots of colours in that song. And it's yeah. just about, I, I guess, like uh, someone who... Um, doesn't see the beauty of things and you're kind of just encouraging them to just look around and it's, you know, life's great if you 
just about perspective and yeah. yeah. I love the reference there to trying to find something to rhyme with orange. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I did say I wrote it quickly, so... Uh, <laughs> no, I like that. Yeah. I'm going to go deep real quick here. Songwriters yeah. write out of their life and where they're at. Mm. Yeah. Has your songwriting changed since you become a married woman? Ooh. Now that you're content in a lovely, settled, happy married life, <laughs> has it changed think, your songwriting? I think so. Like, um, I have to say, like, when you're, you know, teens, life's a little bit rough, even even when things are great. You know, there's always something to write a It's always a drama. There's always about, something you know? going on. Well, it's not but hard for teenagers to find something to complain about. <laughs> yeah, so true. Whiny <laughs> <So. laughs> little 14-year-old. But I feel like my songs have become a little more positive, um... I don't know. I think, yeah, it has changed. And I've been writing a lot more. Okay. Maybe it's just because I don't have a wedding to plan and I have more time. But, yeah, no, good question. I think it has. I think it has. Yeah. Yeah. So songs like, you know, the trash is still sitting there unemptied. Um, oh, currently. <laughs> two no, bags of it. No, yeah. no petrol in the car. And Notice she looked at you when she said that. <laughs> where is he? And things like, great yeah, song titles. I like true. those. Yes. Actually, I'm just going to jot them down. Yeah, where, where, <laughs> really good, yeah. where is he? And, and there's Why no did that trash get empty? Yeah, yeah, no yeah, this might be a country album. <laughs> <laughs> it's lots, of things, like it. lots of things can wrong with trash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, <laughs> Okay, so you started demoing. That's great. Okay, yeah. so um, walk us through. Any uh, title yet? Idea of themed album? Um, how many tracks? Have you gone that far down? Or this well, is yeah. total, just relatively new? Had a couple discussions. Ooh. I think, like, these days, because of all the uh, streaming mm. kind of services that everyone's kind of on, um, the go is singles and then really mm. small releases. So. Is yeah. yeah, so yeah. I'm just looking at it putting is. out a couple singles in the next yeah. couple months. Yeah. The industry stats would tell you that an album, well, uh, labels aren't releasing albums by anyone but a So, so Adele, this, yeah. that, they'll have full albums because they have the dedicated fans that will still buy the actual CD and then vinyl with its making its comeback yeah. will buy the vinyl. Whereas anyone new or mid-range, it's an EP. Because well, four tracks or six, because a full album, they stream four or five, mm. they might buy one or two. You get the same with an EP. Stream four mm. or five, buy the two. Yeah. So you get same work, half the money, same revenue. Totally. That's what that's gone. Mm. Yeah. So, but Toby Mac, uh, a single a month <laughs> and just Pretty chopping much. it up. Yeah, yeah. That's how it goes these days. Isn't chopping it? it up. So, you know, and that's great for radio because we get something new all the time. Yeah. Instead of waiting for the album, when well, we can't put the whole album on because it kills the sales off and it's an art form that people say, well, I can play that song, <laughs> I can play that song because we do, we'll never get any music from that company again. For sure. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I like to release what they want played unless it does not gel well with this station and I'll pick something else. Mm. But getting a single a month works for us because it just sounds good. And I really can take all the credit for it. Anyway, <laughs> so, <No. laughs> but no, it's there. So, 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 okay, so great. So an EP, awesome. So, yeah. well, it'll be done next week. <laughs> Oh, well, that would be great. Well, you I mean, can hook me up with someone that can do that for me. Well, sure. I'm just saying, you know, you're not busking. You know, you're not in, you're in the trash, obviously, with yeah, two bags. What am you've I got doing? loads Nothing. of time yeah. to do things. I mean, come on. So, yeah. all right. So, songwriting process. Take us through that. Well, I've actually, this year, I've started, I've got some music mentors. Uh, Gina Jeffries, Rod mm -hmm. McCormick. Oh, yeah, okay. they've, nice. they've been helping me for years. And this year I've just started... They brought you in here as a 14-year-old. They they did too. They, they did. That was the first we ever came across Ash was as a 14-year-old and Gina Jeffries dragged her and said, you've got to hear this girl. And again, she's not a member. <laughs> <laughs> bom, bom, bom. <laughs> Yes, it's anyway, not songwriting. So, um, <laughs> back to where we were. No, I've just been, I've started um, songwriting teaching for them this year. And mm. I'm teaching people who, like, young teenagers um, who are just kind of delving into it. And it's really, like, I don't know, it's helped me grow as a songwriter. Because I guess it might sound silly, but when you're not writing something for yourself, mm. you're a little less precious about it. Like, you're still precious, mm. but not as precious. So it gives you freedom to kind of try different ways of songwriting and different processes like whether you just write some words first and then try and put music to it or whether you start playing a groove first and mm. then find you know a melody so I feel like for me there's not one way that I um write there's there's lots of different ways and then I feel like you can get lots of different songs from you know 
trying different things out. But so sometimes you're driving along and a lyric comes into your head and you go, I've got to write it oh, down. Oh, yeah, sometimes you've got to pull over and just <laughs> chuck it down, otherwise it'll just be, you know, terrible if you forget it. But <laughs> so that was, the, that was the number one hit. <laughs> yeah, and you could have lost it if you kept driving, yeah. So there's no dictaphone that you just quickly hit and sing into? They're called a phone, well, a mobile phone. Yeah, phone. A phone, yeah, sorry, a phone. <laughs> That's what I imagine. I thought you guys hit something click it and then sing it real quick. Also, I, I imagine you guys well, to do a lot I, of that. I use um, the Voice Memos app on, on a phone, which is pretty much like that. Yeah. But I'm one of those people that when I'm driving, I, I'm not game enough to touch my phone, so <laughs> I've got to pull over. That's a safe thing it to do. It is good. I've, For I've all our listeners, that's the right that. thing yeah. to do. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> well, yeah. it is our uh, June Appeal uh weekend and i guess we should play a few things about that and let people know what we're actually doing we, yeah people who tune in and, <laughs> and like we'll come back to these another guys song. are talking quite a lot it's not me it's rick and anyway, <laughs> our guest in the studio uh rick broom uh no sorry asha <laughs> sorry asha our guest, I'm not a guest asha, over here. sorry a guest, that's right you do <laughs> resident in the room guest in the room asha thank you you've actually played this one beautiful song are we gonna get another one is the thing. Sure thing. Are you sure? Yeah. I, I recorded I the first one, and you didn't realize that we own everything that comes across the airwaves. <laughs> oh, see, so you if you it. see it on iTunes later on, we can negotiate some sort of fee, of some sort of <laughs> kickback. But that's just the way it is. You know, <laughs> you need Fair enough. you need radio. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so, let's. Okay. So uh, what are we listening to? Um, I'm just trying to decide. <laughs> Actually, I might do something a little fun because my my. Uh, Husband is sitting in the corner. And the guy who's the guy who's responsible for the trash is sitting in the corner at home. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, gotta put that in. Confirmed. Yes. <laughs> you, yes. Okay. Sorry. Some criminals was in the house today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So I was gonna ask you: Was there a song that you've written about you two, or intertwined with you two, or have you guys collabed? Have you guys? Well, t- this yeah? is what I was gonna play. He mm. actually gave me like a guitar. Like a little guitar lick that he wrote, and I stole it and I made a song out of it, but he hasn't heard it before. Oh. What you have? So, you haven't stole anything. What's his is wow. yours. That's Period. true, actually. Thanks for reminding <laughs> That's me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so he I doesn't get any of the royalties? No. Well, nah, it's just, you know, one and the same. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Joint accounts do that. Yeah. <laughs> So okay, so you you he 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 gave you something that you were already thinking of anyway, and you just d- developed <laughs> on much. top of that. Yeah, so he wrote the guitar part, and I just made a song out of it. Excellent. So, but he hasn't heard it yet, so ah, this could be interesting. It's a world premiere. Yes, mm. it is. Indeed. Go. Let us hear. Let's do. Oh, title. Name. Uh, it's called Today and Always. Today and Always. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll leave it there, and I'll just start playing it. Let's I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Asha with the stolen song. (laughs) (laughs) Why are you getting your ideas from me? You say you like the way that I walk But the way that I talk I'm not too proud of Cause when you're in my heart And when you're in my head I think of all the things I could have said instead Something like I love you Oh, babe, I couldn't do nothing without you today and always. Could adore you with my eyes closed. I'll follow you wherever your feet go today and always. I 
could have said instead was something like I love you or oh, babe I couldn't do nothing without you today and always could adore you with my eyes closed I'll follow you wherever your feet go today and always you know me well thankful you can see beyond the trouble I cause myself Something like I love you Or oh, babe I couldn't do nothing without you today And always could adore you with my eyes closed I'll follow you wherever your feet go today And always oh, I love you today Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Oh, we've got oh, an audience out there. I see some tears yeah. in Joseph's eye over there. Okay. Oh, we, we, don't allow, we don't allow crying in here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. You're going to have to step that That was gorgeous. That was really nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you got such a pure voice. Mm. Um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's just pure. But you also know how to actually manipulate words, which is kind of hard to get artists to actually do. You know, you sing in the song, but... You know, do you want to sing it? You know, make it your own, yeah. you know, accent some words, linger on some words. Is that something you just always have done or was that taught to you? Oh, do you guys know Mercy Higgins? Yes. She's got a very distinct, different voice. Mm. I grew up listening to her and her only at like some points. Um, do we and I feel for like, that? Oh, mum, you can blame oh, okay. Kelly actually. Kelly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like she, I don't know, maybe it was something about listening to her and I just, yeah, mm. I don't know. It's one thing to sing, but when you take a song and make it your own, even if you wrote it, you can still actually give it something unique. So it's nice when, you, you know, you, you grab hold, or you see an artist, you grab hold of words and they linger with it, they play with it, um, they accent it. It's just, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, uh, you I know, do, yeah. You know, rappers have been doing it for years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I mean, you know, the and they make up their own words. Well, yeah, and a lot of them don't <laughs> speak English anyway. Are, yeah. But I mean, they just <laughs> top things off to make it work. But here, you can bring that special thing to a song. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? I mean, Hill song do it without words. They do. They like the la 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 la's and the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> They do. But it's you and know, then it then when they just run out of lyrics <laughs> in the middle of the song. <laughs> but they they make very good use of that. Yeah, you know, yeah. you've got that, that crowd. You know, work it. So mm. it's it's nice to see when someone comes along and can do that. So. So, um, I want to ask you a question. In making your music, when you pin a song, do you normally strum the arrangement of what you think? Or you just actually, I've got a song here, let's put it together. And let, let someone else put it together. How do you go about that? You're, with your arranging, the way it sounds, uh, music, instruments, how many things to put in there. You know, snare or no snare. I hate the snare. Snare or no <laughs> snare. I think it breaks up most things, the snare. I just think, oh. Through anyway, that, yeah. So, you know, who do you collab with other people to do that, or do you pretty much gotta hear what you want? Um, on I your guess, own? like, with an acoustically written song, like, by the time I've finished the song on my guitar, like, and I know what I want to sound like. But, um, yeah, like, when, like, say, when I did my last EP and I took it to the studio, yeah. I, like, I did have a good idea of what I wanted, but I feel like my knowledge wasn't quite there to be able to do it. Yeah, because... So, yeah. Because drowning is um, it's completely different from an acoustic. Oh, it yeah. may have started out acoustic. Indeed, But yeah. the depth of that song and the layers in that, mm. was that you or was that the studio? <laughs> no, that was Rod, my producer. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have thought yeah. that I could have made anything like that before. Well, a lot yeah. of artists can't let go and let someone yeah. else take what's theirs. But you know what? Um, that's where iron sharpens iron. You know, yeah. you hear one thing, but a producer who, you know, predominantly sees music and colors can actually see that and yeah. give it the depth and the and the weight that it needs to carry the tune that you brought to the table. Um, and when artists can let go and, 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 and actually let someone help mold, I mean, they can sound so much better. 
Yes, I, mean, I can, agree. You can yeah. always do what you want to do. You know, that's called, I don't know, um, d- d- I don't know, <laughs> something else. Yeah, we'll go <laughs> She always used to come unplugged. Yeah, <laughs> go unplugged. do that. Go There's do lots that. of unplugs yes, going on. Yes. Why not be a bit different? But if you yeah. want radio, you want the best you can get. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, because it is important. How important is radio to you? I mean, you're not a member, but you can, <laughs> at least, you can at least tell us how much you enjoy radio being here on the coast. Well. <laughs> How about uh, when I'm in my car? I don't mm-hmm. listen to anything else other than radio. That's good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I just wanna, that's good. I just want to unpack a little bit on that whole studio experience. Mm. Yeah. Because, I mean, you've been working with Gina and Rod for quite a number of years. Yeah, in different they're capacities. amazing. Yeah. So, when, when you go there with your set of tracks, and you've, you've heard them in your head for years, some yeah. of them. Yeah. What's the process like for you as an artist when someone like Rod says, oh, yeah, but do this or we should do that? Are you really open to that? Because I know, as, as you said, some artists are a bit sort of, oh, that's not how I hear it in my head. Yeah. Mm, so. I guess I'm kind of open. Like, it, it takes a <laughs> while. Like, I feel like they have to keep repeating, like, repeatedly suggesting it mm. for me to be like, all right, this could possibly. Mm. And, like, how I was talking about demos before, you can do a couple demos, like, um, of, like, you know, making it sound one way or the other and then you take it away and you listen to it for a little mm. while and then eventually I might be like oh yeah they were right like <laughs> that sounds great like that it just mm. it all takes time and then yeah yeah, yeah. it's a so, collaborative process yeah, mm. yeah. definitely open yeah. to yeah. whatever yeah. Now, on to those artists who actually find someone that they work really well with yeah and that they stick a long time mm. with you know on both sides of the coin people who sing but don't write mm. um the lady who writes for uh Celine Dion is that everybody you punch her name yeah. You know, it's close enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she writes well. She mm. writes the way she sings. Mm. So, but you, your, your style. I mean, what you've sang here, it's not too far off from Johnny, but yet it is a bit step up. So, where would you class yourself as an artist? Oh, do you know what? I, that's probably like the question I struggle most to answer, mm. just because. Like well, right now, in right this, now. yes, right now, where you are. I mean, you, 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 you may change, you may not, but where do you see yourself now as an artist? I'd say still pretty acoustic, mm. just with some, you know, soundscapes in the background, that yeah. kind of thing. So, yeah, mm-hmm. acoustic what? on steroids, let's say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like it that. seems to come natural to you. I mean, it's, yeah. it's no problem. I mean, you, you're definitely not afraid. To, to, to pick up and just go. Yeah. There's no nerves there. You know, you just get in, here well, I am. <laughs> she shall hides them well. <laughs> yeah, let's say that. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I think, too, I mean, <laughs> playing for radio is quite different to... You do a lot of gigging. You do a lot of live yeah. weddings, that sort of stuff. So rocking up and doing an acoustic set like that is perfect in that environment. But if you just record that and then submit it to a radio station, they're going to go, nah. Because that's just going to get lost in all the heavily produced sure. stuff that's on the airwaves. So that's where you have to, I guess, go into those relationships with the studio and with the producer, trusting them that this is a different target. And it, it the same song could be completely different. Yeah. Like Drowning performed at a wedding, say, if you would do that, probably not a great yeah, song for would, a wedding. Yeah, that would be very interesting. <laughs> <wouldn't> <laughs> be, but just as an acoustic number, would be very different to a radio play, Drowning. Yeah. yeah. So you're sort of in that both places. Because you're so actively gigging, and doing that stuff and then to be going into a studio and going but okay i've got to change hats here a little bit to what works as a fully produced radio thing as against just a, a live acoustic set so it must be an interesting walk to be able to and then go back and play it just acoustically when yeah. you've heard that fully rich layered produced sort Good of version thought. yeah so mm. true i feel like sometimes like i actually did an acoustic version of joining the other day because someone came along to my gig and they're like oh i have your cd in my car like can you play drowning so it's pretty cool when people yeah. like know your song so i played it and i was like oh my gosh like acoustically i can't even remember how to do this because <laughs> you could just listen to it so many mm. times you know as yeah. a you know because i listen to my story. own music all the time but uh, <laughs> well, you, um, yeah. no not too much but, but you know it, it's gotta be a kick when people might say i listen to you all the time you know, yeah. Especially on the station that you're not a member of. But, you know, they come and listen to you all the time. That is awesome. Like, I just got a text here, actually. Wow, that girl can sing I'm an Asher fan. Oh, so, lovely. You know, Thank you. It's, it's you know. And it's, it's just, Toby Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just sleeping in the right corner. Now. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you, it's, it's got to give you a boost. So, that's mm-hmm. good. So, you yeah. Know, so, can I get you right here now? What does radio mean to you? I mean, seriously, what if this place, if we weren't here, 
would you be sitting in Sar? Um, well, you probably would because you're that good. <laughs> 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 they take her. <laughs> no, I've only done one interview. There, you guys have got me back multiple times. So <laughs> you're you're a member favorite. of Star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not a member. He just much me, your husband just showed me the membership card. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Already. <laughs> Sorry, it's a whole uh, skit months. going Lucky on here. Oh, let so, it go. It's a whole skit going on here. So, so but no, no. Look, but we do appreciate you and your music, yeah. and thank you for yeah. popping yeah, in. Great you. voice on the radio. It's good to have local content here. Mm. Um, we're just not all about the A-listers here. There's yeah, totally. so much more good music out there from the indies. It's more than it is A-listers. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they <laughs> never get a run because, you know, they're not being milked you know, for money by a label somewhere. So, yeah. But it's nice to have people here local who do things and do yeah. things and do it well. Hmm. So, but thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Pleasure. Next and we time. do look forward to your next yes. release. Yes. Yeah, yes. very excited. Yes. Yes. Super excited. And you and your husband on air too one time, you know, wants to get up and talk. He wants, he wants to yeah, talk. Yeah, he likes talking yeah. even more than I, me. I, I, he I talks can, a lot. I can so. tell. He's got that <laughs> he look. He do well. He's got that look too. Yeah, he's got the look like, I want to say something, I want to say something, I want to say something. <laughs> 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 so all right. So any before we go, any 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 timeline on any new music, single or whatnot, anything at all? Well, no? my dad Kevin, who I was saying manages me before. The guy, yes. He's like, yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, he's like, yeah, like you know, we're within a month. That'd be great. But my realistic self would probably say within the next two three months there yeah. will be a song or two out. Okay. It's when you're ready. Yeah. It's when it's ready. It's when it's ready. You don't, you don't rush it. Yeah, although you know, I love that. You know. I'm sure we could possibly do it within a month, but, yeah, but I, I just, I'm just very uh, particular with, you know, how I want it to sound and all that. So it usually yeah, takes a be. little longer. Yeah. 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 It's your baby you're sitting yeah. out into yeah, the world. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can see both sides of the coin. I mean, I'm with you. I think yeah, you should yeah. leave it till it's done. You don't rush. You don't make music for the sake of making music. You just want to get it right. But yeah. I can see him as a fruiter. You know, you got fruit, you got to sell it because it'll go off. You know, I'm pretty so sure. So true. I know. Yeah. You got to do That's that kind of thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Our guest on this yeah. June Appeal. Asha, thank you very much. Pleasure. Appreciate Thanks it. for having me. Guys, it is our uh, June Appeal weekend, and uh, it's all happening live and local at the moment uh, with Asha. But uh, if you want to donate, 4367-4042 is what you want to call. Uh, Rima.cc gives securely our pop-in and uh, see us. There's a house full of people here. Asha's still here. I think she's going to leave her husband here for a couple of hours. Uh, Suite 4, 162 Central Coast Highway. Come on in, pop in. The total at the moment, $11,320. We're going for 100 thousand by the end of tomorrow or whenever you can give it's 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 you know it's not it, it, it's no pressure you can pledge if you don't have it now we understand times are tough but maybe you can make out some sort of payment plan as we're going to pressure ash's husband into doing that before he leaves and we'll see how we go there but you can always do that but like i said doors open we'd love for you to come in and see what we do meet the people uh rick's always here <laughs> Mostly behind me, but he's always here, looking over my shoulder. Meet him. Uh, we got new announcers coming in. Frank's in the house at the moment. He's new on air. I think he's coming on air in a moment. Eddie is in tomorrow, all the way till twelve. Coming to meet him. Uh, it, we'd love to meet you. I'd love to see what we do and just you know 